explain a, a few of the features of this uh, direct drive wind machine. It's powered by a General Motors 350 Chevy engine, uh, approximately 290 horsepower. The propeller is a Sensionic two blade. It's designed to operate at 3000 RPM and has various safety features. It has the red lights uh, that can be turned on just to warn that uh, we're starting to move air. Uh, it has a battery lockout switch right here. So you'd have to turn the battery lockout, engaging the battery, and then turn the ignition key, and then start it from there. It has a forklift base, and it also has tie downs. So the wind machine must be firmly secured even before starting it. This, this is plenty sufficient, two tie downs. You can use either the straps or, or chains and it can also be bolted. We also have a forklift base, as long as the forklift is, is uh, you know, rated for whatever elevation that you lift the wind machine up to, it will work well to keep the wind machine in uh, stationary. However, you never stand in between the wind machine and the forklift at any time. The uh, wind machine has a full startup safety instructions posted right on the panel. This is the throttle. This is the instrumentation. It has gauges for the volts, temperature, oil, and the tachometer, as well as various switches, which are mostly spares except for the red light for other attachments. It also has a receptacle for charging. 12 volt receptacle and every circuit is is uh, is fused independently some of the other features on this is the fact that it is running a full uh, NASCAR uh, aluminum radiator with a expansion tank and a recovery tank for cooling it also is running a stainless steel exhaust headers three inch stainless flex tube and mufflers the uh, fuel tank is uh, is removable. However, it's a larger capacity. It's able to run the unit for nearly an hour, and uh, it's got a safety valve on the fuel system to shut the fuel off, as well as a Holly fuel pump with a pressure gauge and a fuel regulator.